Hello and welcome to Multiframe Webinar 1, Video 2 on Working with Geometry. When we first get started on a model, it's often useful to use the Generate commands to automatically generate some regular geometry as a starting point for our model. Multiframe includes Generate commands for a range of different standard structures, beam structures, trusses, frame structures, and also structures made up of plate elements. So let's go over to Multiframe and see how these commands work. Inside Multiframe we have a Generate command in the toolbars. We have commands for generating a beam, curved beams, portal frames, uh, frame structures, trestles and so on. So all of these commands are easy to use. We just click on the icon, type in the key dimension and the geometry will be generated for us automatically. The same applies to 3D structures like portal frames. We can just choose the number of frames that we want to generate and our portal frame is generated automatically. But there's a lot more commands available. If we go to the geometry menu and choose generate, we can see the full list of standard structural shapes that are available. So for example, in the truss area, we have a range of different structural trusses as well as roof trusses that we can choose from. And at the end of the list, we have a range of different uh, standard structures which can be generated using plate elements. So we can create floor slabs, circular tanks, and the last one I'd like to show you is the option for generating a beam element but made up of plates. So normally when we're modeling a beam we use beam elements but if we're interested in looking at local structural details for example we want to look at the effects of having a hole in the web of the beam then we'll want to do a plate element model to look at the local details. So let's generate that standard model. We can choose the type of shape, an I-beam or a T or what have you, the overall dimensions, lengths and breadths and so on, and then we can generate that structural model. If we go to a front view, we can see the plate elements that have been generated uh, by the meshing, and then we can use a command to draw a, a circular shape in the web of the beam. So I'm going to draw an opening in the web of the beam and uh, put that hole in the web and you can see that the meshing can automatically adapt to that hole. So we start out with our generate command and then we can modify the mesh for example to suit the requirements of our analysis. So using the generate commands is a very good way to start your modeling. You can create beam structures or plate structures and then further modify the model from the automatic geometry that's created for you. That ends our first presentation of generating structures. Thank you for watching.